Hi! Welcome to another episode of Frank's TV. Today I'm going to, one, maybe not run over, we'll cross my fingers, so that we don't get the broadcast interrupt design again, but hopefully I won't, because this time I'm having a conversation about spirituality, and I'm going to be talking maybe a little bit about, you know, just like what my thoughts are on it, um, the different layers to it, and sort of begin to have a little fun conversation about how we can all become a little more spiritual. Stick around. Understand Cause she's so free from the man Cause that girl does what no one can That Frank She's the type of girl that you love to detest But when the one that's feelings you choose to repress She's so beautiful I don't know how to address Let's call her Hello! Hello, everybody! So welcome to another installment of what we call Franks TV. As always, I'm your host, Franks. Um, and I really need to work on keeping these videos in a certain time frame and not uh, running over my time. I think now, twice, I've already gotten to the point where I had to put in that, like, uh, broadcast interrupted screen thing. And hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers, hopefully this time I don't do it. So I'm going to talk about something, but I want to keep it very brief. Um, today I'm going to talk about spirituality. I know, okay, I say brief, but I, you know, oh, Frankie, what do you mean brief? Like, brief. Yeah, right, you know. Um, but, okay, spirituality. I just, like, how do I breach this topic and not run over and not do the breakfast interrupted thing? I think it's by not having moments like this, where I'm just talking for no reason. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Um, so spirituality spirituality. What do I mean when I say spirituality? I'm not talking about religion. You know, I'm not talking about the types of religions we've been brought up in. I'm not talking about um, necessarily going against any of that either. I think when I talk about spirituality, it's really a conversation about self. And how do you connect in and honor yourself? So it, I, I like to read and I like to put information together. So when I began to like research my own spirituality and how I wanted to go about it, I began to like layer all the religions and all of their beliefs sort of on top of each other and try to pull out the like the strings that tie them all together. And in that, I think the main thing that I came to realize and accept was that spirituality is within all of us um, it's within every single person all every human being has some connection to source some connection to oneness some connection to that's it you know the source you know we all no matter who you are and where you come from you all everyone just like okay just like I think it was Gaga that said it in an interview how no matter who you are where you come from when the visceral pop song comes on, you know, everybody has the same feeling, whatever. And I think that's, it, that has the same, it's in the same conversation because what's, what I want to say about spirituality is that I think everyone has their own spirituality and that whilst religion for a lot of people can be avenues to get to spirituality, spirituality really is something that's cultivated within each individual person. So. It's about kind of figuring out like what um, energies you're interacting with, what you're being called to do, you know, stepping back inside your own mind to observe the conscious, you know, I think, I mean, what the fuck? I'm talking about this like as if I'm, as if I'm going to be able to breeze through this and I'm trying to breeze through it. So like, we're going to just have to keep talking about this stuff over and over and over again, but it's it's about like um it's about like just seeing observing you know recognizing yourself not as your thoughts or as your emotions but as the person who observes or as the entity that observes these things 
Like I've noticed that when I have thoughts, I'm not my thoughts. I'm, I don't identify with my thoughts. Of course they're my thoughts, but I don't identify with them. You know, when I have feelings, I don't identify with my feelings. They're my feelings, but I'm not like, I, my, my identity is not wrapped around them. It's more in conjunction with, or it's like in association with them. And bringing it back to spirituality, I think what I've come to more so honor is that I'm a eternal light being and my existence is in conjunction with and in honor of that light. You know, um, I've read a lot of books and I've like, I do a lot of research. I'm constantly like sucking in information. Um, and I think the thing that I really enjoy the most or that I've like come to really value is that uh, spirituality is so individual. You know, there's so many different ways to honor it. Some people may honor it by like, you know, it it's, like, okay, when I was, like, less um, aware or had, like, a lower perspective or was, like, a, a younger, really, I just, I used to do this thing where if I did a performance, the next day I had to have Chinese food. I don't know why, but it's something in me called to, like, complete the process of, like, opening for a performance to give a show and channel, um, like, raw energy. Also, simultaneously, it was, like, then I could, um, like, complete the cycle by having Chinese food and like comfort food the next day. Um, of course, you know that sucks because the older you get, you have to watch what you eat in different ways. And I'm, you know, I love Chinese food, but I have to just have my moments. I can't just have Chinese food every time I do a performance. That's, you know, whatever. You learn things. But I think the thing that I was trying to say is that that within itself was an act of spirituality because I was honoring like a connection that was being made during a performance by like, giving to it in healing my body the following day, you know? And um, I think the, that what I'm trying to say about spirituality here in this moment is that it's really about honoring yourself and looking inside and, and kind of giving to, and giving, yeah, giving to that thing, you know? My, my spirit really really pushes me to give to people and be nurturing and kind, but also to practice a lot of um, free thinking and joy and humor and um, kind of just like live, you know? I think the more present I became in my own life and the more I chose to just be present, I think it was a combination of both of those things that really led me to develop my own spirituality and come to realize that I honor myself and my spirituality in every single moment. So a moment of self-love is honoring my spirituality, you know? Um, doing things like this is honoring my spirituality, like communicating, you know, one of the biggest energies that's, that's influential in my life is like the same thing as like someone like Hermes, you know, um, communicator of the gods, messenger of the gods, X, Y, and Z. That energy plays a large part in who I get to be. And in part, it's because of the, the simultaneous, like different other, you know, we can dive into it too. There's like astrology and I, I abide a lot by astrology, but not really, you know, it's a combination of all of the things together. It's like astrology, it's um, like synergy, oneness, like Reiki. Um, believing in all of these things simultaneously is really where I found my true spirituality. You know, so like someone like Hermes, I know that they focus, that their energy influences my life a lot because of the double Gemini placements that I have in the very front of my chart, followed by the double Sag placements I have in the very front of my chart. You know, those two things literally are forcing me to be a communicator and a vessel and an area where the universe could just like give it to whatever comes into contact with me. Um, but it took me a long time to accept and own that. And I worked through my own spirituality to come to that place to realize those things. I think spirituality is the kind of thing that holds us to our own standards. So it creates a mode of existence in your own life when you can tap in and truly honor it from a non-ego place, but more from like a feelings, like a kind of like a place. 
that's really where I think you can really step into who you really are. Um, and I think that everyone needs to cultivate a little bit of that more so. I think we live in a very materialistic world where it's, it's more about um, like who you are and like what you do and the internet and social media. And I think that all of those things together are hindrances to what's like innate to humankind, which is the questioning of like, why are we here? Who am I? What am I supposed to be doing? What's my purpose? I think all of those things get answered when you can tap into your own self and like step back inside the brain, you know, and like see the brain, but you're kind of in the periphery of the brain, but you're like still inside the skull. Um, I think it's in, it's in that, that you really you get to see who you really are and you get to notice that you're no different than anybody else because essentially we're all a part of the same thing. And at that point, nothing exists but love because love is the direct channeling and existence of that thing as well. Damn. I don't know that I can go any more direct or deep than that. Um, because I don't think it's really my place to hand this to anybody. I think it's just a mode of coming to say that the, the journey of self and the journey and discovery of who you really are ultimately leads to developing a sense of spirituality because you come to answer questions that you couldn't have answered otherwise and that have no answer. But how do you explain the presence of an answer? You can't. There's no words. It just... I would recommend people start reading. Um, the Untethered Soul was a great book. I really enjoyed that one. Right now I'm in the process of reading Oneness um, again, but this time with a different eye. And there's another book, what was it? Um, the Greatest the greatest Salesman on Earth or whatever, O.G. Mandino. Um, the Four Agreements was a really good one. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other books I read that I really enjoyed that really took me. O.G. Mandino has a lot of books. Um, the Alchemist was another great book. Um, honestly, if you really, if you really want to go there, the Bible, and if you read it not as like a form of religion, but just as like another book, it actually has a, a good amount of things that you can like pull out of it to like color in different things. I like to read the Bible as like a history book more than I read it as like religious uh, mandates. You know, I, I kind of, it's like, it's whatever, say what you want, but um, I just like to read. You know, there's a lot of books to read out there. There's a lot of information to take in. And if you can manage to approach and breach multiple different topics, you can sort of begin to get like a feel for like all the different flavors and kind of a little bit up from everything at the buffet on your plate to kind of have, yeah, it's like a plate of mashed potatoes, spaghetti, fried chicken, pizza, and salad, but you're at the buffet. So you might as well try everything. You know, and I think it's when you try everything that you realize that it's kind of just all food. Um, and that's the way that I want to promote spirituality in that just do what feels right for you and approach different topics and don't be shy to learn. Learn about yourself, question yourself, exploring those things. And in that, through that development and through looking like beyond into that lens, I think that that's there's like something there that's without words that I just like to call love that we can all tap into that brings all of us to one plane and in that one plane we can all begin to move forward. See I told you I could do it. It's probably gonna cut out while I'm doing the purse thing but <laughs> so what's in my purse? <laughs> You know, you hear that rattling around in there. What, what could it be? Oh my God, what could it be? I love this purse. I've had this purse for a very long time. I bought it when I was really materialistic, but it's so cute that I just never let go of it. 
you know, it has some stains and it's like was not this color when I bought it, but over time, you know, she's old. I've had this purse for maybe like six or seven years. Um, I think I just liked it because it was jelly and it was different and you know, back then there was like such a thing about like jelly purses and like it's mini and it was like at the beginning of all of that and I was just like, you know, sucked into trying to be something. Um, but I just held on to it because I loved it and I just think it's cute. Um, also in this outfit, I think I'm going to work. This is like my, this would be like a work look. Like, oh, sitting at the desk, like typing up a, typing up a something. Like email somebody, like emails, phone calls, like fax machine, um, business, you know, like no to the meeting, uh, like that kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, or maybe I'm traveling, who knows. But with this little purse, I think I'm going to work. Maybe a luncheon. So today inside the purse, I actually have um, something that many people know as incense cones. <laughs> um, the incense cones, these are uh, Mandarin mint incense cones. I really like these. Um, what I really love about incense and incense cones is that they're very clearing for energy and they can help reset your mood. They can reset your vibe. They're a way of honoring conversations. So every single morning on my altar, I'll light like one while I'm praying and doing my morning prayers. And it's really, they're a way for, for me to, you know, bring some smoke into the, into my existence. Um, smoke is a very clearing and like cleansing type of material, uh, material, material matter, material. Um, and I think what I like about the Mandarin incense cones is that like the citrusy, minty, it brings a lot of like higher vibrations, but it also is a lot of like calming energy at the same time. So it's sort of like a nice high focus, um, which I'm, I mean, as, as you guys can tell, I have maybe a hard time doing. Um, so I like, I think that's where I really enjoy my spirituality, you know, on a daily basis is in something like an incense cone, lighting a candle, um, kind of giving myself that space to like experience the scent and kind of let it take me and uh, honoring myself every single morning in those kinds of ways. Um, sometimes I'll light a candle, sometimes I'll light an incense cone, sometimes I'll light a regular incense, depending on what's happening. When I have certain incense that I'll light under a full moon. I have certain incense that I'll light in the morning or in the evening or when I'm asking for certain things or when I'm praying for certain things. Um, and I'm not saying that anyone has to do that. I'm just saying that I enjoy doing that and that that's what was in my purse was incense cones. And that maybe if you wanted to, you could do the same thing. Um, some are easy to start. You know, they're very clearing. There's some Nag Champa ones that I used to really like, but they got a little smoky and my room's small. So it kind of like smoked me out. But it's in things like that, you know, um, Palo Santo, Sage. It's all of all of those different kinds of like more herbal and um, non-Western types of burnings and, and cleansing and smoking and stuff. That's, that's definitely something that I've wrapped into my spirituality. Um, and I'm just sharing, really. That's all I'm doing is sharing. So I think I made great time. I sort of like blazed through this one. So we'll see how that sounds. It might be blitzed. Um, thank you so much. I guess, wow, first video, what's spitting? First video exit. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is a very fast episode that I really just wanted to see if I could fucking nail it in. And I think I did. It's probably gonna cut out. I'm literally, I'm, you know me, I'm just talking. Um, so again, you know, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Um, go pull your birth chart and see what it says. Um, Cafe Astrology has a great birth chart thing and it's free. And I've heard things about CoStar and the pattern, but those two apps I think be wary of because they tend, it just, they're apps, you know? Um, Where something like a website that's existed for years they're just, it's all different. I take it all in and take the truth out of all of them, oops, bitch, out of all of them together. But if you wanna keep exploring yourself, if you wanna bridge those conversations, and if you maybe want book recommendations, or if you want to maybe have a conversation about your birth chart, just send me a DM on Instagram, um, fr underscore a underscore nx uh, underscore x, 
or you can comment on and we'll just keep the conversation going. You know, I think um, breaching the self is the best way to discover your spirituality and discovering spirituality for yourself is gonna help bring a lot of meaning to things that feel like they don't have meaning. And it's gonna help bring a lot of depth to your life in a way that you may not have had before. And in ways that everyone can gain a little bit, regardless of who you are and regardless of what religious background, cultural background you come from, I think everyone can gain a little bit from spirituality. So that's that on that. Bye.